West Sandville Street. I received a letter from the certified mail from the county about the letter about the rezoning, and uh, I went and picked the mail up and I read it. And I had seen the sign before I got the mail. I was like, "What's going on?" So when I went over there, when I went back over there to get the sign again, I said, "Well, there's gonna be a house. That I don't buy. House just like." Mr. Coleman just said it would be great for them to build a house and that when they do decide to do their part of the land on the other side of the street, to show up their subdivision or whatever, it would be great. But the rezoning to, to uh, apartment to me will be the little pay higher to me. I, uh, I asked each one of the councilors, I called them, asked them to come and get the property visually to see and to talk with me. Uh, Councilor Warren, he couldn't make it because he was with his daughter, which I understand, and Councilman Benjamin, and he was at Congress. He worked. He was working there. But anyway, I wanted to know to look at it visually, and I kind of felt like I saw what I saw. But what I want the council to understand that, like she was saying, my sister lives in my mom's house at 414. She had problems getting in and out because of the traffic. Now, and so it would become more traffic. It would be worse for her, you know. She's gonna have to probably go out the back way or whatever. I don't know. But either way, I will hope that the councilor understands why we are opposing it. Uh, I love the fact that they developed that area because it was just a wood, just wood down the way I was a girl. It was just when we could walk down the dirt road and you know go to the little pond over there, get minerals and all kinds of stuff. It was just, just fascinating. But once I came home from Chicago and there was a benefit, I was I was in awe. You know, this is going on. And I, I like the way it looks now, you know. And it looks, you know, it looks classic now. There's like this a wooded area across, across the road that's going to develop later, which I understand, which, is, which will be good, you know. So we'll be in uptown Hay Howard, you know, all those. But I was raised here in Hay Howard, and I always thought the council would look at what the citizens are. We're the, we at what we're talking about, or what we're feeling, what's going on with us, as far as the problem. My mom is dead and gone. The letter was written to her, you were lame, which is my mom. She's, she's gone, 2013, she passed away. But I'm speaking, I'm speaking like, I can't say I'm speaking for her, but I'm speaking with her, that she would, she would like to see that drop into a park and to go down in that corner. It's just like, it's too much. It'll do too much, and then it'll lower the property value of the house. It can do, he can't even probably do a subdivision over there across the road because of the trailer park down I'm going to say the apartments down there. And then you got the uh, trailer park, which is good. It's nice, kept, it's real nice. And then we got the house, and the other house, then we got the subdivision back down in there. Then we got the city too. Um, you know, it just, it just looks good. But I want y'all to keep it looking good. The pine tree can't stay there for enough of time. But if they decide to build some houses, I'll be, I'll be satisfied with those houses there. Then apartment come back. So I look at the council take, listen to me. Read my lips. Vote no. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Lane. Anyone else wishing to uh, speak against? Anyone wishing to speak against? Anyone wishing to speak in favor of the zoning change?